How are going guys? Alright, everyone want to know what's the process of applying for a Cayman visa. Well, the first step, we have to think about, do you have a passport to travel? You have to have a passport to travel. You have enough people thinking about traveling and don't have a passport. The second thing, do you know the requirements? You have to find out what are the requirements for traveling to apply for your Cayman visa. Alright, the first requirement is a valid passport. Second requirement is well now let me look what is the second requirement. Second requirement is two passport size picture. Third requirement a bank reference. Fourth requirement a police record a police record. You see, once you have all of them something there, you're good to go. So, if you are planning for travel for September, October, you just have to start from now. The easiest thing to get is the two passport size picture. Because you must have your passport already. Alright, the third thing. No, the third requirement. Um, the third requirement is your... Job letter, just set a third requirement job letter. You know, you have to get that from your job, and that now will take like more than two weeks, depending. So, you know, the earlier the earlier you request a job letter from your workplace, the better it is. Police record, we realize say, the system of change up. When you apply for your police record, everything has changed up. But if you have a family member, let them send you a letter that um, they wanted to visit the Cayman Island. So when you get that letter now, you can bring it down to um, the police record place. When you bring it down there, you can show them so the process can be more faster within a week or two. Yeah, basically, it's... Um, I eat that just for the requirements. You have a website online where you have to apply. And alright, all if you apply online, you have to go up on Google and search for Cayman Islands Custom and Border Control. So uh, that could be the first thing that come up. But you have to look for that if you apply online. As me tell you, I think it have about what, seven to eight pages. No odd. The first thing will come up, Cayman Island Visa Application Part 1. What type of visa are you applying for? So you can click Visitor's Visa. Number of entries, single. Might as well you just put single. So about you know. Part 2 is about you. Your surname, date of birth, first name. Blah, blah blah nationality gender you know xyz things about you where you normally fill out on a farm what is your mother's full name all right next uh, your family do you have any children you know, yes or no okay so Previous applications and travel. Have you previously traveled? Have you previously visited the Cayman Islands? Have you ever been refused? And you can't tell a lie, right? You say, no. Refused entry or visa for the Cayman Islands. Or been refused entry to the UK or any UK overseas territories. Or had you leave to enter or remain cancelled? So you know, you have to tell the truth. It says yes or no. But I can't give out all of it because I don't know if I can come online and talk about you know them things are very serious. But I tell you now about 8 page. So just go up on Cayman Islands, Customs and Border Control. Alright, whosoever you have to steal it, make sure say at least them are work. You know, them are do something over there. Who you gonna stay with? You can apply for your own way. Nobody you gonna stay or, or whatsoever. 
but then once you to travel, you have to have money. You have to show proof of funds. Um, hotel, you have to show them, say, you have to stay at the hotel, then you have money in your bank account for, for the time you have to stay there. there. You know, X, Y, Z. So, who, who you have to stay with, and you have to put the name of who you have to stay with. It can be more than, it can be at least four persons you can put on the application form. You see, if each of them, you see, if a four person, you know, and each of them put, you know, put them name, them address, contact number, trust me, it, that would have been good. Because, for example, each of them I try assist you, and you can give for them information. Because trust me, they're not call them, you know, they're not going to call them. They're not going to call them and ask them some information. And you know them have one documents. You now if you send if you now have them documents same time, then we'll call them and tell them what kind of documents they for bring in. So they must forgot bring in them pay slip, um their bank statement. What else they must forgot bring in? I think I just basically that you know normal um documents, you know, um ID and so.